So we have a few things that we're gonna cover in this video, some leaks, some wild speculation around some of those leaks and the leaked patch notes here in Pokemon Unite. We have a lot to get into. One thing that we're just gonna start with is this little riddle from El Chico Eevee. I'll let you speculate with this. Ally Pokemon riding on the user's back can dismount whenever they choose. So this is not Comfy. We know about Comfy. The question is what Pokemon is this? Well. We have another tweet here from El Chico Eevee showing an Eevee riding on the back of a, I think that's Mantine right there, right? And now I guess the question is, is this what Eevee was referencing? And the answer is maybe, maybe as some have speculated, this is something like Lapras coming to Pokemon Unite. There are a lot of things it could be. And then we also have a deleted tweet from El Chico Eevee. I hope I'm gonna find it right. Let me find it here. No, no, we'll talk about that in a second. Can't wait to see Don Dozo. So the question is, is that actually what El Chico Eevee was referencing? Is that the Pokemon they mean coming to Unite? I would love to hear everyone's thoughts in the comments. And I'll also show you just a quick little leaked image of what looks to be a move for Inteleon, but also, if we have a water Pokemon coming to the game, it could be for that Pokemon as well. That is this little image right here that we seem to have a leak. It seems like a, you know a different version of Bubble Beam, but as we oops, let me uh, let me try to make that a little bit better for everybody here. But as we kind of know, you know, this could be a lot of different moves right here. We're actually not sure what Pokemon this is coming from. This could be Inteleon's, you know, Unite, some type of sniper shot that this Pokemon has. So. I'm not sure what it is. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Who is this most likely water Pokemon coming to the game that you can ride? Is this related to that Pokemon? Or does this have something to do with Inteleon? Who knows? I really don't. But there are some leaked patch notes. The story behind these patch notes is actually really fascinating. Um, and it looks like some players were given early word on what these patch notes were going to be and then some of the players thought hmm, that's kind of messed up that we actually know what these patch notes are and they started leaking them around to other players so i don't know the full story behind this but let's go through the patch notes as we know them we can take a look here a lot of stuff so let's start we talked about this the other day i have a video up on my channel of you know, nerfs and buffs that were coming, but these are going to be the official patch notes. It looks like it. They're gonna be coming to the game. These have been translated over from, I think, Korean, which is originally where we got the information from. So let's go ahead and start here with some of these patch notes. Um, Sableyes, Shadow Sneak. This is awesome. Time from using a move to entering stealth used to be 0.75 seconds. Now it is 1.5 seconds. So it's twice the amount of time before Sableye gets back into being invisible. That's really, really nice. We, we need some big changes on this Pokemon. And I don't want Sableye to be unplayable, but honestly, I'm not freaking out if it is. <laughs> like, let's, let's do something about Sableye. Please, please, I'm freaking begging you. Let's do something about Sableye. Uh, you'll no longer be able to enter stealth when you become incapacitated before entering stealth. So it looks like there's some sort of uh, duration where if you get stunned or hit with any hindrance, you can't go right back into stealth. Mwah! Maybe fixes the Pokemon right there. I don't know. That honestly might completely fix Sableye right away. It might make it where it's like good, but you can actually punish it, which is something I talked about in a previous Sableye video. It just feels like that Pokemon does everything it wants to do and it's completely unpunished. Let's take a look at Urshifu right here. Single strike style, the wicked blow damage reduction while charging goes, uh, goes from 30% to 20%. Very nice. Okay, you wanted to have some damage reduction. Let's make it less. And then the upgrade went from 60 to 40. I think these are awesome changes. They really needed to be made. It was far too much. It could tank way too much damage here. And then also, uh, it looks like it's Unite move, final, uh, it says Jet Black Final Fist, which is its Unite move. I think it's called something else. Maybe it's called Jet Black Final Fist. And I've never even realized it as the best Unite move name of all time. Uh, but it is a 25% damage decrease. If you don't specify a direction, this is when it knocks the Pokemon up into the air. That will deal damage and will launch, uh, and launch will be specified, be the specified opponent's Pokemon only. So this changes it from when you would jump in, use your Unite move, and hit multiple enemies up into the air with it. Now it will just be that one Pokemon. So those are some really nice nerfs to a crazy overpowered build. 
its rapid strike style uh, actually now will give you two seconds off of your cooldowns instead of 1.5 when you land a boosted attack. This is pretty huge. I, I, I love the idea of this because I think they're actually setting up a way that the Water Bear is going to be really playable right here. Now, also on the Water Bear build, Surging Strikes is getting a change here. So it's going from a 13 second cooldown to 11. You stack that on top of the fact that it used to be 1.5 seconds when you hit a boosted. Now it's two seconds. So you're shaving two seconds off the cooldown. You're shaving another half second every time you hit a boosted. These are really big changes and they can be really nice for this Pokemon. Uh, we also have the number of damage required to increase the number of consecutive attacks inside of its Unite move has gone from three to two. So you used to have to get its counter up to like 18 or something like that to get full stacks. Don't quote me on that. Maybe it's 15, maybe it's 21. I can't remember. Now that's going to be cut down considerably. I don't know if it's going to make the Unite move amazing, but it absolutely could. Taking a look here, we also have uh, some changes for Scizor. Let me see here. Scissor is going to be changed to my brain can't find it on the page right now swords dance swords dance gets a one second increase as well as an attack percent bonus decrease it goes from five seconds to six seconds and the attack goes from 15 percent to 12 percent here and on scyther it actually gets a uh, a bigger decrease from six seconds to seven seconds same attack decrease right here we also have a nerf for Scyther. Dual Wingbeat is getting a cooldown increase, so you're not going to be able to cast that as quickly. Scyther's Unite move is getting a damage reduction of, uh, oh, excuse me, a range reduction of 30%, so you have to be a lot closer to activate it, and the dash distance is being reduced by 20%. I don't know if this is all of the nerfs that you would want to see for this Pokemon, but it's a few nerfs across the board to its most popular overpowered build. So I think there's something to check out there. Mr. Mime is getting a damage decrease to... Look, Mr. Mime, it feels like, is getting some of the worst nerfs of this whole thing. Mr. Mime getting a 15% damage decrease on its Confusion. That's massive. Confusion does a lot of damage, but they've been nerfing this move for a while. It's still incredibly good, and now it is getting nerfed again. We also have additional damage when hitting the opponent's Pokemon against the wall has not been adjusted, so there's still a big boost in damage there. The Barrier Mime build could still do a lot of damage. We have Power swap getting multiple nerfs again movement speed increase when connected with an ally is going from 15 percent to 10 recovery amount is getting a 15 percent decrease i'm very sad about it but it is what it is and then mr mimes uh barrier it doesn't actually say what's going on with its barrier it says unite move it's showtime is getting a 10 percent decrease honestly the biggest kind of nerfs throughout the entire thing surprisingly feel like mime like these are very very big nerfs to mime we have clefable actually getting a 15 percent healing increase to moonlight that's big and gravity is lasting longer uh it immobilizes opponents for an entire second now rather than uh, just a half second so you're going to get a lot more use out of gravity if you can nail it here hoopa also is changing how this move is activated on phantom force so it activates at a different location you cannot have to uh, charge this onto an ally or enemy right now so that's going to be a pretty interesting change for hoopa i saw another actual buff for hoopa that i'm not seeing on this, this list hold on we also have the wait time for hoopa's hyper space hole from 12 seconds now down to 10 seconds and the wait to come back through the warp point from 15 to 10. It feels like Hoopa is getting a ton of buffs. We might be seeing Hoopa really rise to prominence again. Uh, we also see the time for recovery to start when you go through the portal has been reduced from half second to zero seconds and its Unite move uh, has a charge reduction of 15%, so a, uh, a decrease in how long it takes to charge. This is actually just a ton for Hoopa. Hoopa's getting a ton of buffs right now. And then we have Dragapult, Shadow Ball getting a damage increase. This makes sense because the Shadow Ball build doesn't feel like it's been as useful as uh, its other build. I'm blanking on the name of it, but the Fire build. Uh, it What is that? 
Dragon something. What is it called, Jake? Dragon Breath? I don't know. Now I'm blanking on it. Doesn't matter. The point is, it's getting a nice little buff here to Shadow Ball damage, and it probably needed something like this just so that build was a little more competitive. There was another nerf that I saw that I just can't seem to find on this list, which was Delphox was getting a nerf to the charge time on its Unite move. It was going from 89 seconds to 100 seconds. I can't seem to find it here, but there is a ton. These buffs and nerfs it looks like they're coming into the game here on the 31st the new pokemon i'm not sure but as soon as there's an update to the game leaks come fast and furious let me know what you think in the comments again what do you think about these nerfs and buffs and what do you think that mystery pokemon is i love you all and i'll see you all next time mm -hmm.